Tonight, a massive cannabis bust in Brooklyn has neighbors asking questions. How did a major distribution center for illegal pot products go unnoticed? CBS 2's Derek Waller is in Fort Greene tonight talking with neighbors and investigators. And here in Fort Greene, one neighbor actually told me she thought this building had been abandoned for years. Another thought that a new restaurant was moving in. Apparently, no one had any idea what was actually behind that gate was a multi-million dollar illegal cannabis operation. There's several million dollars worth of product inside this warehouse. It's one of the largest cannabis busts New York City Sheriff's deputies have ever seen. This warehouse full of weed gummies, vape pens, marijuana flowers, and none of it is legal. Any idea where the product is? coming from? Uh, you know, some of it could be diverted from legal states. We know some of it comes in from overseas. That is completely illegal product. We don't even know what is in it. In fact, we saw this box labeled made in China. Cops uncovering the stash after an early morning report of a burglary inside this unmarked warehouse on Adelphi Street, right inside a residential neighborhood. The NYPD now partnering with the sheriff's office, which is now empowered to go after illegal weed operations. When you walked in and saw all this, what did you think? The sheriff's office and the NYPD and our task force members would be very happy that this is going to be off the streets. And away from children, the packaging is bright and colorful with names like Gorilla Glue and Thin Mints. This box of vape pens shows a cartoon grandma lighting up. And this container of infused joints is topped with a fake neon goo. And what does that look like to you? It looks like candy. It looks like um, I'm slime. It looks like, yeah, things that my kids play with. It makes me very, very angry. Um, and I'm very curious about what's going to happen and how they're going to shut this down to protect the children of Brooklyn. The NYPD now trying to track down the owner. The mayor's office says this warehouse was actually a major distribution center for all of those illegal weed shops popping up all over the place. Now many of them getting shut down after Governor Hochul signed new legislation making it easier to do so. In Fort Greene, Brooklyn, Derek Waller, CBS 2 News.